Good morning, good evening, good night. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And today, you may be wondering what we're doing today. And today, we're doing a great, great, great video. When we're opening up PokeRev Mystery Packs, I got out of it a gold mystery pack. And what was inside was a first edition Team Rocket booster pack. And I mean, what else can someone want? And today is the day that I'm going to be opening it up. But obviously, this wouldn't be an 8-minute video or anything longer than that if I wasn't to open something else up. So we're going to wait to the very, very end and I'm going to open this up. But first, we're going to open up a tin. We're going to open up a Decidueye tin. Let's get into it. And then we'll get on to the Team Rocket base set, first edition, booster pack. Let's get it. Alrighty, so I'm going to keep the Team Rocket Boost Pack in the back so we always know that it's there watching us as we prepare to open up this beautiful Decidueye tin. Obviously, I almost, I've had this Decidueye uh, V card already, so I'm going to leave it in the box. I may give it out, I don't know, so we'll see. But here, obviously, is the five packs. Ready to go. We've got two Astral Radiance, one Brilliant Star, and two Evolving Skies. So, we're going to start off with the Brilliant Motherfucking Stars. And let's let's get into it, you know? I'm just keen to get into that base, the first edition, Team... Oh, shit, it's this way. Team Rocket Booster Pack. Who, who else is, like, who else is excited for that? All right. Let's get into it. Here we go. I've, I've been I've been on a break a little bit, so I'm a little bit rusty. We've got a Fire Energy, a Probobass, Team Yell Chia, Chinchino. We've got a Carrot Clefairy, Sork, and we've got a regular red, regular, regular rare, Wormadam. Alrighty. Astral Radiance, let's get straight into it. Uh, I don't know what I want out of Astral Radiance, but, you know, we move. We're just going to keep sh going straight onto it. We've got a White Code card, alright. Everyone loves a little bit of a White Code card, even me. I like a little bit of a white code card. I personally like a black code card better, ones with a black outline, but you know, no one faults a white code card. Especially in these new editions, because you can get a little something something, but usually you get nothing. On to the next one Astral Radiance 2. Let's go. Oh, you see that? Black. We already know what that means. One, two, three, four. All right. Ooh. Fighting Energy, Grant, Pillar Swine, Electrode, Magnemite, Rolts, Sneasel, Mischievous, Bar Brooch, and we've got an Upside Down Beedrill V. I don't know why that was Upside Down, but for some reason, that was Upside Down. So for now, I'm going to put this to the back. Unsleeved, because I'm doing something with it, okay? It's, just, it's not going to be unsleeved forever. Oh, shit. Almost just opened up the fucking Team Rocket pack on accident. That would have been bad. But here we go. On to Evolving Motherfucking Skies. And I do have one of the old arts of Evolving Skies, which I'm really happy about. Everyone loves a little bit of Evolving Skies. And I got an alt art out of it. So I was really glad that I got one out of it. Oh, being a little bit annoying. We've got a Nicket. Dwebble Ruffle It. We've got a... And we've got a regular rare... Lilligan. And now, we on to Evolving Skies, the last pack before opening up, before opening up the Team Rocket Booster Pack. Here we go. One, two, three, four. By the way, this will be my first ever opening of somewhat vintage pack. And yes, everyone will probably tell me to keep it sealed. It'll be more expensive later on. But like, I'm going to be honest. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? So it was just a regular rare Milotic. A great, great card. Team Rocket Booster Pack came out in 1999 to 2000, as you can see there. Premium, uh, premium card odds is 1 in 33 cards. Uh, uh, copyright 1995, 1996, 1998. 1999 to 2000. <sighs> Official product, Wizard of the Coast, expert level. 
po bless Pokerev for getting me this card. I wonder if it's like guaranteed weighted or anything like that. That'd be epic, but it's probably not. It's probably just a random card out of the set. I believe Rocket is is three, so let's just do three. It may cut us. I'm gonna cut it really quickly. So as you can see, Rattata is at the front. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna leave it this way. All right. I just wanna. I just wanna make sure. Actually, no. I'll leave it rolling. You know, we'll leave it rolling. I just wanna make sure that uh, uh, Team Rocket card trick. Team Rocket card trick. What is the? I think it's three. Is it three from the back? Oh, shut up. That's the Pokemon. That's the wrong. Okay, I'm just gonna do three. If it's not three, we're, 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 we're screwed, okay? I believe it's three. One, two, three. All of these will get sleeved 100%. Alright. There's an uncommon, so I was right. An uncommon full heal energy. Dark Loom. Okay, that's not the hot, that's not the rare. Dark Loom. Oh, this is so fucking sick. This is so amazing. Dark Loom. Dark War Turtle. Just checking that it's not the rare. Alright, Dark War Turtle. Look at that. Just look how amazing that is. Look at the look at the look at the artwork on this. I don't even know what to say. I'm in absolute awe. I'm in I'm in just awe of these cards. <sighs> Ratatata, we saw it. Very beautiful card. These are all getting sleeved, so don't worry about that. The next one, an Eevee, an Eevee, god damn, an Eevee, uncommon, Jesus. Next one, Grimer, which was fixed in the English version because it was looking up the girl's skirt, unfortunately, which would have been much better to have, that, was, that would have been a sick card to have, but Grimer, We've got a trainer card, which is Sleep, Team Rocket, Secret Machine. How many more cards do we have left? Three, I think. Abra, a very beautiful Abra. That's a beautiful card. And Ekans. I think this is the last card. Nope, there's two more cards after this. And Ekans. A Psyduck. This Psyduck is so faded. I don't know if that's just the the print of it, but that is looks extremely faded. And for the final pack. Oh no. Ooh. A dark Charizard non-hollow. That is beautiful. I am amazed by that. And I'm going to sleeve every single one of these cards. I'll be right back with them all sleeved and we'll go through them again just really quickly. To have a look at them let's go alrighty here is the beautiful beautiful recap so we're gonna go through that um, we're gonna go through this uh, boost by la, 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 boost pack again I don't know if this is in the right order but let's go here we go full heal energy dark loom Psyduck Ekans Abra sleep Grimer Eevee Rattata, and for the last two, I put these in the sleeves just because this one's a war turtle, and I love the artwork and the dark Charizard non holo. This is still a pretty expensive card, like it's still like a pretty expensive card if you get it graded and it, go it goes well. There's a hair, but it still does pretty well. So, who knows? I might go out and grade it. I'm not really sure yet, but that is a beautiful, beautiful. Card. Look at that. I know that a lot of people are going to be like upset or just being like, why would you open up a Team Rocket booster? Like, why would I open up a Team Rocket booster pack? But I've never done anything like that before. I've never opened a vintage card up ever before. And I feel like you have to open up a vintage card to know what it's like. And who knows, I may try and get another one if uh, Pokerev goes into a, his uh, 4.0 or his 5.0 of uh, Mystery Packs. Who knows, I might maybe try again and try and get a 
uh, a boost pack, a gold boost pack out of that. But, uh, you know, uh, there's no way that I can financially, like, get a booster pack that makes it worthwhile. Because, first of all, I make no money on these ch this channel. But I also, yeah, so I'm pretty much going in debt buying all this stuff. But just being able to see a card like Dark Charizard just non hollow like not even ho like hollow look so good just to look at and all of these cards just being beautiful to just stare upon and just go through when i pause this video to sort of clean up and get this like uh to get this outro ready to go i had to just look at the cards with my own eyes because i use uh, my computer preview over here to make sure that you guys are making sure you guys see everything a hundred percent And make sure it's the best possible angle for you guys So I haven't actually experienced the cards yet for myself just looking at them and the artwork is so beautiful and I understand I understand why there's so many people with the nostalgia of these cards because there's just nothing like it now There's nothing that goes about making these stylistic ways of these Pokemon or just these oldish drawings of them like these are all inspired like they aren't a hundred percent what uh eevee looks like or rattata looks like and stuff like that so they sort of have to base it on their own sort of way so i'm gonna do a little bit of a preview of of each um of each card just at the end here it's just if you want to have like a closer look I'm just going to place them down and do a little uh, rotation around so you can just have a look at the absolute beauty of every single one of these cards because I'm sure there's a few of you that just want to have a glance at these cards but if you did enjoy please like and subscribe even I am just totally awestruck of how beautiful some of the Team Rocket cards are um, but yeah if you really did enjoy please like subscribe all that kind of stuff as you guys know I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.